And I went to my uncle who helped to raise me. And I asked him a question. I'm sorry. And it was something about happiness or something about joy, you know? Because I, I experienced major depression in my life at one time. And I remember how this sticks with me even to this day. It's not necessarily a biblical definition, but it definitely put things into perspective for me. And my uncle explained, he stated, happiness is circumstantial and it is contingent or dependent upon what is going on in your life. Like, I, like we talked about the other day, the people, the places, the things, the circumstances, having the money, reaching the goal, having people around you, whatever. He says, but joy is internal and it doesn't matter what's going on around you. If you have joy, you will, the joy will remain. Greetings and God bless you. It is another beautiful day and we are here. It is October 4th and we're going to do exactly what we came to do. Be faithful unto the Lord so we can be consistent, disciplined, and focused. Amen. So we are here every day praying, processing information from our self-development resource, Jesus calling, and we are pursuing God's word. Amen. So let's go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we love you, we praise you, and we worship you. Father God, we ask you every single day to move by your power. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done. Speak to our hearts and minds and give us the direction, the inspiration, the encouragement, and the will that we need to do thy will. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So it states, remember that joy is not dependent on your circumstances. Some of the world's most miserable people are those whose circumstances seem the most inevitable. Oh, enviable, excuse me, enviable. People who reach the top of the ladder career-wise are often surprised to find emptiness awaiting them. True joy is a byproduct of living in my presence. Therefore, you can experience it in palaces, in prisons, anywhere. Do not judge a day as devoid of joy just because it contains difficulties. Instead, concentrate on staying in communication with me. Many of the problems that clamor your attention will resolve themselves. Of, of, excuse me, other matters you must deal with, but I will help you with them. If you make problem solving secondary to the goal of living close to me, you can find joy even in your most difficult days. Now, as I sit here and I seek the Lord about today's devotional. It's like, I remember years ago as a teenager, I think I had just, I was probably like my sophomore year in college. And I went to my uncle who helped to raise me. And I asked him a question. I was like, and it was something about happiness or something about joy, you know? I, I experienced major depression in my life at one time. And I remember how this sticks with me even to this day. It's not necessarily a biblical definition, but it definitely put things into perspective for me. And my uncle explained, he stated, happiness is circumstantial. And it is contingent or dependent upon what is going on in your life. Like I, like we talked about the other day, the people, the places, the things, the circumstances, having the money, reaching the goal, having people around you, whatever. He says, but joy is internal and it doesn't matter what's going on around you. If you have joy, 
you will the joy will remain and i'm paraphrasing a little bit but i just so clearly remember him stating that to me and it it was like one of those epiphany moments or you know circumstances or conversations that change your life that just stick with you forever and i just remember that sticking with me and I, so I say to you, now that, and even though I know that my uncle did not give me a biblical definition of happiness and or joy, I understand what he meant. Because when he stated that joy is internal, that really means the presence of God. And maybe he knew it was the presence of God, but knew that I wouldn't understand it at that time, that age and stage um, in my life, you know, so he probably didn't necessarily say God. But now at this age and stage and level of maturity in my life, I understand that. Right. True joy is internal. And the reason why is because it's God's presence within me. And that I can have joy, irrespective of what's going on in my life. Like me, don't like me. Money, no money. Friends, no friends. I have it. Because it's in me. And if something is in me, then it doesn't matter what's going on outside of me. The joy remains. Amen. And Sorry for the helicopter flying ahead. So let's go ahead and turn to Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. And that is Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. And we're going to pursue God's word. It states, Though the fig tree does not bud, and there is no fruit on the vines, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though the flocks disappear from the pen and there are no herds in the stalls, I will rejoice in God of my salvation, in the God of my salvation. The Lord, my Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet like those of a deer and enables me to walk on mountain heights. <sighs> you know, I'm having a, a moment right now because I remember when I was first introduced to this scripture, but, you know, it was Dr. Cindy Trent's um, book of prayer and um the art of war strategies of war or something and it was a mini book at that time before she revised it and it became like a whole like textbook and i remember i was like god make my feet like hind's feet as i climb up dangerous heights and at that time it was you know, a prayer of war, right? That irrespective of what's going on in my life, God strengthened me that I'm able to walk, strengthened me that I'm able to do all that I need to do. But looking at the scripture before that, where it talks about the fig tree and the olive crop and the fields and the flocks and the pens and the stalls, it's like I can be empty, no money, but I'm going to trust God. I celebrate in the Lord. It's like, like, really think about it. All the flocks can be disappeared out of the, the stalls. The fig tree is not budding. The olive grove um, crops have failed and there's no fruit on the vine 
but you still going to celebrate in the Lord. Now, how, now, how many of us, if truth be told, can say that we are there or uh, we have reached that level? How many of us can really say that? Think about it. That is just so amazing. That it doesn't matter what's going on in your life because happiness is circumstantial. Those flocks in the pen, circumstantial. The fig tree budding, circumstantial. Okay? All of that. The um, olives producing crops, circumstantial. Fruit on the vine, circumstantial. All of that is circumstantial and it, it can change at any moment. But it, when I have joy, <coughs> true joy, God's joy, the joy that comes from the presence of God living within this vessel, in this baby bottle, this ocean living in a baby bottle. You know, we shared that the other day. Think about that. I can still celebrate in the Lord irrespective of what is going on in my life can you say that are you there yet do you want to be there go ahead i'm gonna pray for you father god in the name of jesus help us each and every one of us who's listening and who's watching that irrespective of the things that's going on in our lives, those circumstantial things is that change all the time. Help us, mature us, develop us, get in our spirit, God, that we are going to celebrate in you. We can't do this, depart your spirit. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you.